sometimes when we're living down here and my mom is not around or we have stepmoms or we have God moms or we've got moms that don't even have children. They're still mothers because that's what God has placed within them. Motherhood can only come from a mother. So today, oh God, we pray for the mothers who are weary, wounded, and worn. For the mothers who are tired, overwhelmed and stressed. Her children are facing factors that are way too young for them to have to deal with. Their significant other hasn't quite been what she hoped for them to have been. Her days are as dark as her nights and whatever she gets, she has to fight for it. Her yesterdays are dismissive memory. She can't see the bright tomorrows or be present to feel with sorrow. We know you heard, Rachel. We only ask that you turn your ear towards remnant and hear our mothers and our mothers-to-be and our grandmothers and our godmothers and our sister mothers, right now, oh God, they need to hear more about you than ever before. Lord, fill her with hope. Provide her with your grace. Bless her stress and lift her distress. Give her your peace that surpasses all understanding. And when she leaves this place, remind her that you are still with her and that you will never, 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 never leave her alone. Allow her heart to rejoice in you. And when you've done all these things, I am sure she'll be ever so careful. To give your name all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Because it is you and you alone that so richly deserve it. You heard Rachel. Hear remnant. In Jesus' name. And for our sake. And the church said, amen. Amen. And amen.